says he's going to present to himself mm -hmm. a glorious, glorious church, church not having a spot. Not having a spot. Not one. That's right. That's why the word of God come breaking up homes, not living together. Yeah. Hey Amen. You let live together, not married. They come break that up. Oh, yeah. You preachers don't want to get multi wives, and you women don't want to get multi husbands. Like people are writing me now mm -hmm. about a preacher who was on social media fighting me about the one wife doctrine. <laughs> hey Amen. Now everything is in disarray. <laughs> hey Amen. Because they said that he took some uh, man's wife. He took her. Mm -hmm. That was under him. He took his wife and took his, I believe, 16-year-old daughter. Oh. Old goat took a 16-year-old girl. My Lord. What a shame. What a shame God knows. That's right. Anytime you believe that you can have more than one wife and you are married, then what you're doing don't seem uh, 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 just unjustifiable to you. No. It seems right. Mm -hmm. The Bible said there's a, rate, a way that seemeth right unto man. But mm -hmm. the end thereof are the ways of death. Yeah. You know, a lot of folks know this stuff is right. <laughs> they right. know it's right, but the cost is so tight that make every excuse not to obey it. That's right. The cost is so tight that make every excuse not to obey it. That's right. So when you stand before God, He already had it written. You're inexcusable, oh, old man. man. No excuse. That's right. All right, you better. Ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube, Pastor Dow here. Listen, I realize that right now there are a lot of people out there that are slandering and defaming my name. Every single one of them are all false witnesses. They're all false accusers because none of them know the story. Even if they did know the inside scoop, based on where they're at spiritually, they are not going to judge righteous anyway. Truth is, who cares about what people say? and the videos that they making, who cares? Who really truly care? I know Straightway don't care because it has not stopped us in anything that we're doing. Listen, again, it's amazing. You know, if we were really truly in a court, a real true court, many of you would be ashamed of yourselves. Most of you should be ashamed because you are not even following the book. Most people are telling me that I need to repent. You need to repent for not even following the book. Don't even know all the story. All you know is one side. Uh, people are calling me and telling me what somebody said who was in the ministry some years ago. I, I'm going to say this. By their fruits, you shall know them. Just because somebody says that I said this or I did that or I done that, where's the proof? 1st of all, all praises to the Father Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim Rakadash. Shabbat Shalom to all the brothers and sisters in recognition to observing this day for worshiping the Most High. Sundown this evening to sundown tomorrow evening, my people. Let's get some rest. Worship and praise in to the Father Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai because this is a commandment throughout all our dwellings. Even though we're living under grace, you understand we should always still do what the most high said to do all right now i don't know if many of you guys out there are aware of what's going on with pastor dow of straightway um i don't know if it's baptist church or whatever it is you understand but there are some rumors circulating uh due to the fact that he excommunicated one of his right hand men by the name of uh apostle rufus or something like that or what have you well, since he done that, um, there's some rumors circulating that Pastor Dow took Eric Gonzalez's wife, okay? This happens to be Eric Gonzalez right here, and this is his wife, Nellie, okay? And what have you. And um, now, being that it is that this woman, if they are, this man and this, this woman was married and are now divorced, they're saying that Pastor Dow was guilty for taking this man's wife just the same, okay? And this is what all of this ruckus is all about right here. But there's only one entity that can convict Pastor Dow and this woman, Nellie, okay? Only one entity, and that's the Most High and His Word. So instead of listening to what everybody's saying, what I want to do 
is for us to get into the meat of this word, okay? And what it says about Pastor Dow and this woman right here, Nellie, okay? So without further ado, my people, let's get into the word and see what it says, okay? Let's see if Pastor Dow and Nellie is convicted. If they are in fact in transgression of the Most High's law, okay? Now, to start here in Leviticus 2010, and the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death, okay? All right. See, the thing is this, people are saying just because uh, Mr. Gonzalez here and his wife Nellie are divorced. You know, it's okay for Pastor Dow or any other married man to go into this woman, you know, and to actually make her his wife. Let's see what the Most High's word says, though, okay? See, we always have to lead by example of the Most High's word and not what man say, okay? Now it says here in verse 7, Sanctify yourselves therefore and be ye holy, for I am the Lord your God. And ye shall keep my statutes and do them. I am the Lord which sanctify you. For everyone that curses his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. And he that cursed his father or his mother is, well, his blood shall be up on him. Verse 10, what we came here for. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. Okay? And it goes on to say here, and the man that lieth with his father's wife, have uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Okay? And if a man lie with his daughter in law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have wrought confusion. Their blood shall be upon them. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. All right, so it says that these things right here, the transgressors of the law, lying with another man's wife, lying with your father's wife, which is that is what said Ham did of the three brothers, Shem, Ham, and Jathan. Ham lay with, that's how he uncovered his father's Noah's nakedness. See, some people think that, well, he saw his father naked. He uncovered his, no. He actually lay with his father's wife. Now, I don't know if this was an incestual thing, but, you know, if this was Ham's mother, actual mother that he did this with, or was some other woman that Noah may have had as his wife. Nevertheless, the Mosai is holding this charge against Ham. That's what that means. But, back to Pastor Dow, okay? The jury is still out. Let's continue. Over here in Mark 10, 12. And if a woman shall put away her husband and be married to another, she committed adultery. Hmm. There it is. There it is. All right, let's, let's continue to read, though. Verse 9. Mark 10, verse 9. What therefore Yahweh have joined together, let not man put asunder. And in the house his disciples asked him again of the same matter. And he said unto them, Whosoever shall put away his wife and marry another committeth adultery against her. Now when you say put your wife away or put your husband away, that means divorce. That means divorce right there, okay? Verse 12. And if a woman shall put away her husband and be married to another man, she committed adultery. And they brought young children to him that he should touch them. And his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But 
When Yahawashai saw it, he was much displeased and said unto them, Suffer the ch little children to come unto me and forbid them not. For of such is the kingdom of Yahweh. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of Yahweh as a little child, he shall not enter therein. Meaning, other words, if you don't put off your worldly ways, you understand, and accept the Most High's word in His way, as a new person, like a new, uh, like a, a child would be into learning, then you can't get in. You understand? But what we've learned here in Mark, verse twelve, that even when a man or a woman is divorced. You are still bound to that husband or that wife. Okay? Now, it seems right here that Pastor Dow is in transgression. And also, Nellie is in transgression of the law right here. And let's continue here in um, 1 Corinthians chapter 39. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 39. Excuse me. Now it says here, the wife is bound by law as long as her husband liveth. You see? But if her husband be dead, she is at liberty to be married to whom she will, only in the Lord. Okay? Well, right now, hey, the verdict is in, to be honest with you. But let's continue. It says here, we're going to start here in verse 36, 1 Corinthians chapter 7. But if any man think that he behaveth himself uncommonly toward his virgin, if she pass the flower of her age, the flower, my people, of her age means when she first has her cycle. You know, as a woman, that's when she becomes a woman. Okay? To continue, and need so require, let him do what he will. He said, if not, meaning let them marry. He, he is he can, you know, go into this young girl. This is the most highest word. Okay. Verse 37. Nevertheless, he that standeth that steadfast in his heart, having no necessity, but have power over his own will, and have so decreed in his heart that he will keep his virgin, doeth well. Okay, so then he that giveth her in marriage doeth well, but he that giveth her not in marriage doeth better. The wife is bound by law as long as her husband liveth, but if her husband be dead, she is at liberty to marry, to be married, that is, to whom she will, only in the Lord. But she is happier if she so abide after my judgment. And I think also that I have the spirit of Yahweh. Okay? So then a woman or man is only by, by law able to marry someone if their spouse is deceased. Well, here in this particular case right here. Nellie's spouse, her husband, is not deceased. That's what it is, people. She is still bound by law. She had no business marrying Pastor Dow. She has no right to be here as one of his, I don't know, third wives. It said that he has four wives. I don't know. You understand? Now, the Hebrew law does permit, from what I understand... That a man can have multiple wives, but they can't belong to another man. She can't be the wife of another man, even if she's divorced. So, Pastor Dow, you are in transgression of the Most High's law. Pastor Dow. Okay, and that's just what it is. You are. And so is Nellie. That makes you an adulterer and an adulteress according to the most highest laws all right and that's just what it is 
See, this is where we find you out. Not by what man says, but what by the Most High says and what he decrees and his word decrees that you are an adulterer. And so is Nelly here. Let's continue. All right. Now, we're going to go over in Proverbs uh, chapter 6, verse 29. And it reads, So he that goeth into his neighbor's wife, whosoever touches her shall not be innocent. I would say at this point that Eric Gonzalez was Pastor Dow's neighbor. After all, they were in the same commune. All right? They were. You understand? So here it is. Let's let's read. Um, and it says here, verse 26 of Proverbs 6. For by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread. And the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned? Question. Meaning, <laughs> can he fool with this woman and she's a whore and not get covered in, you know, transgress the law? You understand? No, he cannot. He will be burned, in other words. Verse 28. Can one go upon hot coals? And his feet not be burned? You know the answer to that. Regardless of all that little silliness we used to see, man walks on hot coals and his feet wasn't burned. That was some kind of trick. If they was real hot coals, I can guarantee you his feet was scorched. All right. <laughs> Verse 29. So he that goeth into his neighbor's wife, whosoever toucheth her, shall not be innocent. Men do not despise a thief if he steals to satisf satisfy his soul when he is hungry. But if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. But whosoever committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. Okay? Now, Pastor Dow knows all this, man. After all, he is a pastor. Pastor Dow, you are in transgression the Most High's word. That's just what it all boils down to. Pastor Dow, Nelly, Gonzalez, Dow, whatever, all of you are in transgression of the Most High's word. You have a chance to repent. Get rid of your pride. And just repent. Repent. Undo this unholy union that you've come into. You understand? You have to undo it. And for what I understand, a child was born out of this. And that makes it that much more worse. Because as you can see over here, Mr. Eric Gonzalez and his wife Nellie, they have three children behind them. You see? You see how we as men can mess things up? You understand? Just because of our sinful flesh. When we give in to our sinful flesh, we let our sinful flesh rule us against the Most High's word when we know things are wrong. Just like what General Jennings just said. General Jennings said it. He said it. A lot of us know that this word is right, but we give in to what's wrong because of our flesh, our sinful flesh. Okay? Let's continue here, people. With a, hey, we've already nailed, put the nails in the coffin where they, you know, what a word did, okay? Where it needs to be. Now, what we're going to do is go over here in Romans chapter 7, verse 3. And it reads, So then, if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from the, that law so that she is no adulteress though she be married to another man well look <laughs> Mr. Eric Gonzalez from what I've known still this man still lives he's still alive this woman right here is still in transgression of the law repent Nelly Gonzalez, Dow, whatever your name is now. 
Re just repent. Just repent. You are wrong. You're wrong. You are in transgression of the Most High's word. That's what it is. Now, let's read. Romans chapter 7, verse 1. Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law. Pastor Dow, you know the law. He's speaking to you. How that the law hath dominion over a man as long as he liveth. For the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he liveth. But he, the husband, be dead. She is loosed from the law of her husband. Verse 3. So then, if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law, so that she is no adulteress, though she marry, though she be married to another man. Wherefore, my brethren, ye also are become dead to the law by the body of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, that ye should be married to another, even to him who is raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto Yahweh. For when we were in the flesh, the motions of sins, which were by the law, did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death. But now we are delivered from the law, that being dead wherein we were held, that we should serve in newness of spirit and not in the oldness of the letter. Okay? We're going to serve in the newness of the Most High and what the Word declares. That's what this whole lesson was about, adultery. And to see if Pastor Dow is convicted of adultery along with his new wife, adulteress, Nellie Gonzalez Dow. That, this right here, just, hey, there's no excuse. Just like General Jenny just said, no excuse, no excuse, no excuse for this madness right here. See, a lot of times we get off into our pride, man, and our pride, you know, what comes first? What comes next, brother, when we are in our pride? Downfall. See, now all of this stuff came out when Reverend or Apostle Rufus, Pastor Dow's right-hand man, was excommunicated. You see how the Most High works? He works through the hearts of man. And what did he expose? He exposed this unholy union right here with Pastor Dow and his wife of a wife of another man. Nelly right here. Gonzalez Dow. Mr. Eric Gonzalez is still living, which makes them, her, adulterers and adulteresses. That's just what it is, people. That's it. That's all I got on this one, my people. I hope you guys found this lesson edifying. All praises to the Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Rakadash. I hope you found this lesson edifying again. And... I hope I said something to stimulate your spiritual growth. People, please remember to live your life as though we're being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.